Ah, I'm so tired today too. Ah. My name is Yuzuki Soda. Upon graduating from high school, I started working at a sweatshop. I've been working for three years and I'm turning 20 soon. I want to switch jobs, but I'm living without a problem. I'm scared that my pay might be decreased. I was raised in an orphanage because my parents dumped me. There was no relatives I could rely on. I had to live by myself. Although I don't have much money, I couldn't get out of a sweatshop because I'm able to live without a problem. Lottery. Come to think of it, I bought a ticket before. Well, I don't really pin my hopes on it though. I bought it because I wanted to have a dream. The result should come out by now. I'll check it out. I'll check it out when I get home. I checked the result, thinking I don't win it. Then, holy! I won 300 million yen. I won the first prize, and it was 300 million yen. Checking many times, I really won. I didn't imagine I win the first prize. <laughs> but what should I do with this money? I'm thinking about what I should do with the money because I've been living in poverty. If I splurge, I'll be paranoid about the future. I don't have to worry about how to use it now. This is how I got my hands on 300 million yen after living a poor life. Huh? The weather forecast said it would be sunny. Am I out of luck because I won the lottery? One day, I was on my way home from work. I was caught in a sudden rain, unfortunately, and... Girl? She is a high school student because she is in uniform? What is she doing out here? And it's in the middle of night. I wonder what happened. Excuse me. Ugh. Oh, I can see through everything. Um, is, is everything okay? What happened? Um... It's raining. You should go home, otherwise you'll catch a cold. There is no place to go. Uh, uh... Right. Huh. I'd like to hang around at your place until rain stops. At my place? Yeah. Can I? From a common sense perspective, it shouldn't be okay. I couldn't leave her alone because she was soaked and looked like agonizing over something. I'm over it! This is urgent! Okay, come with me! So, I ended up taking a female high school student home who I don't even know who she is. Anyhow, take a shower first. You can use my clothes if it's okay. Uh... Um... Big brother? Huh? I'll do anything, so please help me out. Uh, anything? Oh. Hold on, does she have her back to the wall now? Because she asks me she's never met before. Uh! If you have something on your mind, I'm all ears. I'm not sure if I can do something about it. Since we met on such a day... Uh, thank you. Achoo! You've got the chills. Sorry. You should take a shower to warm up. Thank you. After a shower, she started talking about what happened to her after silence. It's about the shame of my family. My family is in debt. My parents are so-called toxic parents. They don't work but live a luxurious life such as throwing in money into gambling or traveling. Because of that lifestyle, our debt has ballooned. Regardless of what they do, they are my parents. So I've been paying back our debt by working part-time. No matter how much I paid back, debt is increasing. I was fired because my parents caused trouble at the workplace. I have no money to pay back. My father and mother has cancelled an apartment contract and gone leaving me behind. Because our debt skyrocketed to the extent which we can't borrow anymore. I was being chased by a debt collector right before I met you. You came up to me when I was being depressed. Oh, I'm sorry. The trouble she's in is way more serious than I imagined. But I had something on my chest. Aren't you a high school student since you're in school uniform? Yes, I'm 17 years old, second grade. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Ozaki Mirai. I'm Suzuki Soda, 20-year-old businessman. And I'm not familiar with the law, but if you're a minor, you don't have to take care of their debt? That should be the case. Should be. Law or common knowledge doesn't mean anything to the debt collectors. Makes sense. How much debt do you have? 300 million. 
300 million. That seems like the maximum number you can borrow. So they ran away after they borrowed as much as they could. But 300 million is... Sorry. It must be impossible to give a lot of money to a stranger you just met. I'll work to pay you back. So could you please back me up a bit? Um, alright. I'll help you. Really? I'd really appreciate if you could be of help. I promise I'll pay you back. Uh, that's not what I meant. Huh? I'll take over your debt. You don't have to pay me back. Huh? To be honest, I won the lottery. And it's the first prize. 300 million! Don't tell me you're going to use that money. Yeah, I will. I'll use them to pay back all your debt. Oh my god. It's going to be weird because I'm the one who asked for help. But isn't that your money? You don't have to use it for me. It's okay. As you can see, I'm living in a house like this. I was broke, so I was kind of overwhelmed by the big bucks. I was debating how to spend it. I'll just get back to normal, even if I waste all of it. Oh. Fate meant for this to happen. Right after I won the lottery, I came across you. I think I get my hands on the prize to help you out. And, um, I was raised in similar circumstances. My parents dumped me when I was a kid. I'd been raised in an orphanage. So, I just can't look past the situation you're in. I want to be a help. Ugh, Yuzuki-san. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whew. I used up all the money I won by taking over Osaki-san's Mirai debt. I was a bit worried about gift tax since I took over it. But she didn't have to pay taxes since she was broke. She isn't responsible for paying back debt in the first place. Since she is minor, debt collectors will deal with it for her. So, I'm home. You're back, Sota-san. Dinner is ready. Thank you. She's living in my house because she's got no place to go. Even though she's not in debt anymore, which only means it's even now. Thank you for the food. Looks great! Mirai worked part-time for high school tuition and living expenses, and do housework because she wanted to return the favor. She doesn't have to do that, but she'll do anyway. If it's going to make her feel better, it's okay! Actually, it helps me a lot. By the way, I didn't know you're good at housework. You thought it's out of my character? Well, you're blonde hair gal. I used to work at a maid cafe and died for typecasting because it paid well. Master. Ah. Since my parents didn't do anything at home and pushed me to do it, I had no choice. All right. I want to help Mirai, who backs up my daily life. I did all I could to support her financially. Here you go, Sota-san. Open up and say ah. What? So embarrassing. You don't like it? Um... I just wanted to make you smile. Don't look at me like that. I will. I'll eat. <laughs> Here you go. Yum. Mirai is too cute. <laughs> Heart is pounding. We live peacefully like this. Then, she is now juniors at high school without a problem. Then... Hey! Mirai! Finally! Found you! Huh? Dad! Mom! I heard you paid off all debt. How did you make that money? Don't tell me you've been hiding it from us! What? How can a student working part-time make such big bucks? Then how? I'm the one asking questions here. I did it for her. You did? Yes. So, the debt is gone now. Well, well. That's going to make it much easier. I'm kind of broke. I want you to lend me some. If you could afford 300 million yen, it's not going to be a problem for you. Huh? I needed some money to run away from debt collectors. I borrowed a bit from some place. It's not a big deal. It's only 10 million yen. 10 million yen? You've been at large only for three months or so. Shut your mouth. We wanted to make some money, so that you don't have to pay off the debt. You're saying it's for me, but it's your debt in the first place, isn't it? Now you wanted to make some money. You gambled again, right? You ran away after shifting the responsibility onto me. How can you show up now? 
Shut up. You just follow what we say. Right. Isn't it better off not to stand up against us? You're living with this guy, right? We might as well tattle on you to tell your school and his work. It's illegal to bring a minor home. Yeah, it's kidnapping. We can call the police. Huh? Well, do whatever you want. What? I don't mind you calling the police. Living with her is not going to be a problem anymore because... We're already married. What? what That's bullshit. It's not bullshit. What the heck are you talking about? She can't get married yet since she's not old enough yet. What are you talking about? Don't tell me parents forget their daughter's age. I know how old she is. She's 17 ye- I'm 18 now! Huh? Huh? You don't remember my birthday? I turned 18 this April. B but 18 is still not old enough. Age doesn't matter here. Yes, if you want to marry a minor, you need parents' approval. You didn't know that, smug face. Um, you know what? What? From this April, 18 and up will be classed as adults. There are still some regulations, though. She can marry without parents' approval. What? As they said, it'll cause a stir if my workplace or her school found it out. As long as we live together, we need to deal with it anyway. But once we get married, it's okay to live with her. As soon as she turned 18, we got married. Living with someone you don't like is insane. That's not true. What do you mean? Sure, it was a sudden marriage. But we married because we like each other. We wouldn't get married just because we want to live together. Mirai told me that she likes me because I listen to her and care about her. I, as we lived together, fell for her personality. And she grabbed my heart through the stomach. Since we're from similar family circumstances, it didn't take that much to make up my mind. If you want to give it away, go for it. Nobody's going to take it to heart. What? But that's not to do with debt. Marriage doesn't change the fact that we're family. So it's part of her responsibility to pay off our debt. Yeah, right. If you were a grown-up, you'd better do some filial piety. We've been raising you. It's quite natural we help each other. Huh? What are you saying? Huh? Filial piety? Raised me? Help each other? It may be true that you raised me when I was a kid, but you didn't do anything for me and forced everything onto me since I got in elementary school. You didn't help me at all even when I was in trouble. I've been paying off hundreds of thousands of debt all by myself as filial piety. All you did was adding fuel to the fire. You've been causing trouble. Don't you ever ask me a favor. But but we spent more than hundreds of thousands yen to raise you. You think that'll make up for it? Yes, we did. Would you please stop? Wh what? Don't poke your nose into our business. I'm the one who paid off debt you two made. Huh? Without me, don't you think you would be chased by debt collectors by now? If you demand the money you spend on her, Millions or tens of millions I used. It's about 100 million. You will pay me back the remaining money after subtracting it from 300 million, won't you? Huh? I want nothing to do with you anymore. I will never see you again. What? Never! It's over now. If you keep making a scene here, I'll call the police. Ugh, you'll regret this forever. Don't you forget it. Huh? What a parting shot. Um... Mirai, are you okay? Yes, I feel much better now. Thank you. We finally restored peace in our life. Then... G good luck! <laughs> Why are you nervous? Because it's the first day of work, right? Only thinking about it makes me anxious. People were nice. I met them at the interview. So, it's fine. We moved out when I switched jobs. We're still living together. If it's only me, I would keep working at the sweatshop. But I pulled the trigger and landed a new job for life with her. When she graduated from high school, she works part-time at a new place while doing housework. After a while, we had a baby. Since we both had difficulty growing up due to family circumstances, we'd like to have a happy family full of smiles.